Hey guys, this is the Uranium Sector Review for October 7th, 2018. These have been very popular videos, so I'd like to make, I'm trying to make these on a weekly basis. Uh, these are all done from a weekly standpoint and are done solely on technical, uh, from a technical perspective. So please, before purchasing any of these in your own portfolio, do your own due diligence as, as to the time frame, the sizing, as well as the fundamentals of the company. But here we go. Let's take a look at what's going on in the space. So starting with the uranium ETF on a monthly basis, as you see here, we've been consolidating basically since 2015 between around 20 and uh, about 10 and 20. And we're finally starting to show some signs of life on momentum. So uh, RSI is the most important indicator for my uh, analysis. So w basically between this 38 level and this 50 level has been this consolidation period. But now we're at 1350 in terms of price on a monthly close. And and yet, momentum is nearly as high as it has been when we were at 16 and 18, 19 uh, dollars a share. So this is showing that we've got positive momentum starting to build up. And and if we break this 50 level right over here, that's going to be your trigger to go long from a long-term perspective. When I say long-term, talking monthly, multi-year. Now on a weekly basis, here's a different perspective on the same consolidation here. Um, and again, what we just broke out above the 50 RSI zone right now and and with very, very positive divergence. I'll show another uh, thing that I just spotted here. If you draw a trend line like this, that's that's basically a bullish wedge that's been building with positive divergence. So we need to break we need to break out above this RSI uh, resistance. And if we do that, then that's going to be a very positive development, likely takes us to 16, consolidate here for a while, and then ultimately test this 200 uh, week moving average. But ultimately, this is very positive developments in the sector, and it's no wonder that, as you'll see in many of the charts, we've been breaking out to 100% gains in many of these stocks. Now, URA Daily, here's another view. Now, one of the reasons I called for a potential pullback starting this week is and this is a short-term pullback it's it's uh, uh, it's it's an opportunity rather than rather than anything else um, you see we broke out above the 200 day moving average and we and we started and we jumped from 13 to basically 1367 right over here around that 70 RSI marker has been resistance in in several points passed and so once we hit that point even though we've hit it with relatively positive divergence um, that's typically a sign that this is going to be an area where there's going to be strong resistance I think what's going to happen is we're going to pull back probably below the 200 and test the 50 day moving average allow the 50 to cross the 200 and then ultimately rally higher uh, so m perhaps a multi-week consolidation sure enough we had the shooting star um, candle here as well as in many charts you'll see later on uh, which perhaps confirm my view now on the hourly here's another reason why I, I had I took the very very short-term uh, bearish perspective on URA so we had multiple points of negative divergence where price um, went from 1348 1367 and then 1365 but momentum really never really uh, hit new highs so when 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 we hit 1367 we should have seen momentum go much higher than when it was at 1348 but frankly it was even here then when we hit 1365 momentum should have been at the same level at 1367 but it was much lower so that's a that's a double tap in price and then a, a, a negative divergence in momentum so that that's what triggers this sell off here and and so i think we'll ultimately get back to that 13 zone maybe slightly below for a little bit to shake some weak hands out here and then ultimately consolidate and move higher so let's take a look at some individual names on our watch list so start with some uh, Apache Energy uh, rather Appia Energy Corp been consolidating here since 2016 finally started breaking out showing signs of very positive uh, momentum of higher highs and higher lows uh, and we broke out here, but we have this shooting star pattern suggesting that we might cool off for a little bit. But look at the volume that's been coming in and the accumulation. This is eventually going to break out above that 30, 30 cent level. Uh, and when it does, this can you know move hundreds of percents. Again, don't know the fundamentals, but the chart itself looks like it's 
prepping for a major breakout. So here's the major player in the space in terms of Cameco. Uh, it, it rallied very hard from 939, had basically three very, very strong hammer patterns, closed the week basically at its uh, near its highs and above, most importantly, above the 200 week moving average at 1160. Give it some time to consolidate, but I think when it breaks above 13, that's the point and trigger uh, to suggest that uh, indeed we're moving higher. You see PPO breaking above zero. You see accumulation starting to pick up. This is this is a trend change, guys. Um, this is precisely what you want to see, and this this can lead to a multi-year uh, bullish move in in the space. Can Alaska Uranium CVVUF. Another one that look at that close the week right above the 50 RSI. It's the one one of the stocks that I've been pointing out as uh, um, hadn't moved along with the sector over the last couple of weeks. That's been breaking out, and sure enough, it has it's had a really nice rally from about 21 cents to a high of uh, 29 this week. A little bit of pullback here, but um, we're above zero in the PPO. Look at the volume uh, bar chart here. Uh, so you want to see this break above 30 on the weekly close. 40 is the next target, and ultimately, I think this hits 120 in the not too distant future. DPLO, DYLLF, another one that's been consolidating here for a while and finally showed so much sign of momentum that it finally broke out uh, and went from basically 20 cents to about 42 cents since I started um, tracking this particular uh, name. Denison Mines, DNN, look at this beautiful breakout. 2015 all the way to 2018 basically has been consolidating between 35 cents and 65 cents and then boom breakout here um, this is an area that you want to be buying um, with a stop loss right below 60 cents can it break lower absolutely but your loss is limited to the downside if it breaks to the upside I mean this has tremendous upside potential as one of the only uh, uranium mines actually commissioned to to actually mine uranium in the United States Encore Energy, one that we've been following for a while here, uh, pointing out the positive divergence that had been building during this consolidative phase. And we finally broke out from a low of 3.5 cents to high of 14. Uh, we pulled back some here. We had negative divergence when we hit 14 multiple times, but RSI did not um, hit new highs. And so now we pull back. A lot of traders are selling off here and wouldn't be surprised to see this go all the way back to 7 cents. But ultimately, this this probably breaks higher um, at some point this year. Energy fuels, UUUU, another one that's uh, very intriguing right now. Um, with a stop loss below three, this is a very good opportunity. Uh, it's showing uh, it's showing some negative divergence here, where it's unable to break above 70. Price basically hit a double top, but momentum slowed a bit, so you might need some consolidation. PPO has just um, is hovering right above zero, so we might pull back some here, but um, but ultimately I think this represents a nice opportunity to hit five in the not too distant future. Fission uranium, FCUUF, another one that's breaking out in RSI. That's the most important indicator, as I mentioned before. Um, you want to see price break above 60. There's going to be a lot of short covering, and then there's going to be a lot of momentum purchasing. Probably rides this all the way to 70, uh, but but here is where we pulled back before right over here and so this is where we're approaching right now so this might be some short-term technical uh, resistance on momentum forces metals this is one that really hasn't been stopped um, after it broke out above this 20 cent zone uh, it's really gone straight up if, if, uh, effectively now closed above the 200 week moving average and with RSI above 70 it's very positive um, that this thing likely goes higher and much higher in, in, the, in the near future. A couple more names here, guys. Uh, GoVX Uranium. This is one that broke out of this wedge pattern, as I had predicted. But the shooting star pattern suggests there's quite a bit of uh, uh, selling pressure at that 20 cent zone. So we hit it. Uh, we broke above 50, and now we're retesting 50 from the upside. If we can maintain that 50 RSI zone, and if we can maintain this upside breakout, I think ultimately you want to buy once this breaks above 20 cents, and this can make a very strong run towards 35. Laramide Resources MLRXF, another one with a bullish wedge breakout here, but a shooting star at 40 cents. No surprise, this was resistance in the past. 
uh, RSI kind of double topped, but with po with relatively positive momentum. Um, I think this pulls back, consolidates around that 30 cent zone, and ultimately breaks higher towards 60. Next Gen Energy, one of the best names fundamentally in the space. Uh, this one is starting to break out. Look, it's above the 200 EMA at 152, above the 50 EMA at 207, above the middle, uh, the higher um, Bollinger Band at 223. So it closed very, very strong, closed with positive divergence. 224's uh, momentum is higher than we were at 236. And so even though that there there's a strong resistance level right over here when we last pulled back, I think that ultimately this is a, a sign that this wants to make a run towards three and probably could do so very quickly. Sky Harbor Resources, SYHBF, another one that's consolidated since 2017, but it finally started building momentum here, even as the price was consolidating. Now it's above the 50 and the 200 EMAs, and it's above this 40 cent zone of resistance. Um, even though it pulled back some, I want to see it consolidate maybe for a week or two, and then ultimately head higher towards 55. And once this breaks, this can go to um, well above one. URG, uh, another one that's one of the larger names in the space. It's consolidating above the 50 and the 200 week moving averages. Ultimately, I think this breaks above 90 cents and moves much higher. Uh, but right now, it's not, not showing the same positive strength as some of the smaller names. Uh, Uranium Energy, another one that's kind of a, I don't know what's caused this to break lower um, on momentum, but this was not a positive sign. Um, this is one of the better fundamental plays in the space but it, it seems to be having trouble to break out above this $2 zone. Uh, so it might need some time to repair this technical uh, weak momentum. And uh, two more charts here, or rather one more chart, Western Uranium Corp. I recall making a video several months ago and I was saying this was in the dumps right over here and people were criticizing me. Like I said, I'm not doing a fundamental analysis of these charts. Um, I'm, I'm letting other people invest based on their fundamental research and I'm just following what's happening from a technical perspective. Uh, it was in the dumps here and then when we broke out above 80 cents with positive momentum, multiple higher highs, higher lows, and then once we broke out above this dollar zone, it just went boom. And it, I, I mean, this is something that was pretty, pretty apparent that there was a change in the direction and the momentum um, and the fundamentals, frankly, of the company. I don't know how far it's going to go. That's based on you know dollars and cents, but this is a beautiful chart. And uh, kudos and congratulations to those of you who've been long this particular company. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate your support on YouTube and Twitter as well as StockTwits at Moneyology. And if you can subscribe to our videos, that'll help us uh, build our uh, build our following and also as you comment in, in the YouTube section uh, in the comment section please let us know what other sectors you'd like us to follow um, this is really for educational purposes and obviously you can invest based on some of uh, these charts but ultimately I want to teach you how to chart on your own best of luck guys have a great week